what's up guys we're gonna roll beats and today i'm gonna show you guys how to set up obs to record your screen if you guys haven't sub already or turn post news on make sure you do so because it helps it a lot let's hop right into it so i'm gonna try to make this video as raw edited as possible so that you can kind of see all the settings but obviously i don't want to leak any personal info but um first things first make sure your computer is compatible with the software so you can go on the website go on streamlabs you can go obsstudio.com whatever the website is i'll have links in the description for everything um make sure your computer is powerful enough i know a lot of y'all use laptops and laptops unless it's a really good laptop most of the time nowadays it's not probably not going to be strong enough to record and make you know have a bunch of plugins running at the same time so you have to make sure your computer is strong enough usually it's like a decent cpu and like four gigabytes so it's not the requirements aren't that high so you should be good there but make sure first before you download any software second thing um in your settings this is important when you're recording you need to have your your computer needs to be able to use your i guess your sound card or your sound interface um for multiple applications now if if it's on a different device now i know 100 percent this one works every time you'll know you shouldn't have any problems with this but if you're using a different interface or something and you're having trouble recording and the sound isn't recording or you can't record your voice or something like that that's probably why because of the exclusivity mode in windows or well, i'm not sure if it's in mac or not because i don't i don't use mac but um your computer will fight for control over the sound right because it wants to allocate all the sound to one application at a time. Um, so when I use this, I'm able to, I can record in 30 programs if I want at the same time, right? So um, try this first. And if it doesn't work, you can also try other drivers that you have, but this one, I know it does work. It's the one that I use, all right? So that's it for FL. So now let's move on to the actual settings within um, OBS. All right, so here's Streamlabs OBS, and this is what I use. If you have OBS Studio, just know, and I'll pop it up, this is what OBS Studio looks like. If you're using this, just know every setting that I go through, you can also do within this. So whatever I have in Streamlabs, as far as the settings or whatever you can also do in here, it's gonna look a little different. All right, um, but I'll close that. And this is, I'm just showing you what I use, right? So. If you wanna add a source, right? And a source would just be recording your screen. You click the plus sign and then you just go to window capture. Now they have all types of other stuff, right? Um, you can read descriptions and everything, but you go to window capture, add source. You can see I already have FL Studio up and you can add a new one and we can just name it something random. Now it won't pop up right away unless you pop up the window. So if I click FL, I'm not sure if you can see that, um, but FL should have just popped up. Okay. And let me pull this up. So now if you go down here to window match priority, you can mess around with these and see like what outcomes you have. But usually if you change it, FL should pop up like so. If you click on FL and you can see it's in the background. Now the problem with this is that Sometimes, well, it depends on which one of these you pick, but most of the time it won't show your plugin. So if I click done, let's pull that under. And then if I go here and I try to go through my plugins, you shouldn't be able to see my plugins right now. So if you don't want people to see your plugins for whatever reason, um, this is a setting that's for you, okay? Um, so I'm gonna click out of that and we could just turn this off. Now, if you want to record your screen like me, it records, it records everything on the screen. You'll just go back here and you just record your display, add source, and then just click okay and just follow the same process and it'll record your screen. As you can see, it's recording my screen. All right, so that's just how you record the screen. So now I'm gonna go through the actual settings real quick. Okay, so now we're just gonna go through the settings. Now you will need to adjust. You can just copy what I have pretty much and then adjust it later, um, depending on what you need for your computer, because obviously we won't have the same components and stuff. Um, so you'll need to adjust it. So we can just start with advanced and you just need to look at the video. So you can just copy this. Again, you could change things, right? Um, if you need to. All right, so there's that. And then the next thing would be video. 
and this is what I have. Okay, now if your computer isn't as strong or if it just can't handle whatever, you can lower the quality and see if that helps. You can lower the frame rate and see if that helps. Okay. So now audio, this is just where you set up your mic and your interface. So that's pretty easy. Device one, your interface, your mic would just be your mic. Okay. Now sample rate, I usually put this at the highest it can go. And the reason for that is because when you upload videos to any site, usually just YouTube, um, it compresses it. So the it loses quality, which you probably heard it before. You probably heard, um, like when hi hats play, it's like a really high frequency. Um, so to get rid of that or just kind of hear less of it, you want to have the highest quality possible. So um, that's why mine is at 48 instead of 44. Okay. So let's go to output and let's go to recording. And this is my setup. Now I have mine on MOV. Most people use MP4. Um, but I just use MOV just because I don't know. I just do. All right. And I record two tracks, one with my mic and one for the, the computer audio, which will be FL Studios audio. And that's just for post processing purposes. Um, you'll just have more control. You can like put effects on your voice if you want to, and it won't affect the audio in FL. All right, real quick. I'm going to show you guys how to set your mic up so you can record with two different tracks. So you can also click this button here and you can put filters like a gate limiter and compressor if you want to. All right. I just wanted to show you all that real quick. You can do that on every single one. All right. But to set this up, what you need to do is click this button. You can see how mine is set up already. Um, you want to put your mic to mono because if you don't, sometimes your mic, it might play in the left ear or the right ear. So put it in mono. I have mine on monitor off. And I put my mic on track one and then my FL audio or just desktop audio on track two. Okay. And that's going to separate it. So when you edit or whatever, it'll have two different tracks. Um, but if you, and it depends what editing software you have would allow you to do this, but most should allow you to edit to see both tracks. Okay. Now from here, what you need to do is make sure here in the settings, but output recording, make sure you have two tracks ticked here. So if you want to record a third track, you'll just click a third track. Okay. And the reason it's grayed out is because when you edit something like this, you need to restart the program. So if you want to record three tracks, maybe for whatever reason, you're listening to music. Um, and you like, I don't want the, the music in the recording. Um, so you'll just need to click three and then you'll come here. And then you'll maybe have music down here and you'll click three and you can have three separate tracks um, like so. But yeah, that's pretty much all I want to show you. All right. Now for this, um, this will be different depending on your graphics card that you have. So I can't necessarily help you with this if you don't have the same graphics card, but always use the, the newest one. So whichever one is the newest one will probably be the most efficient one to use. And then we go on down. You can copy these as well. Um, I don't really know what everything down here does. This is just what I was messing around with and got. And I think some of this stuff is default as well. So you can copy that. As you can see, my bit rate is a little weird. This is just what works for me. The lower your bit rate, the easier it will be to record. So if you're having trouble record, probably lower it. The higher the bit rate, the higher quality will be, but it'll strain your computer a little bit. Uh, while recording right and i use cbr i think the original is vbr i believe but i think i don't know i just use cbr and i think that's pretty much it and for the audio always if you if you're producing and you're doing this always put it at the highest every year every every time on every single track always put it at the highest because um, you want the highest quality right because you're making music so you want it the highest quality um, and I think that's pretty much it. And if you can't access this, I am in an advanced mode. So you'll have to change it from simple to advanced. All right. And I think that's pretty much it um, for just recording and stuff. 
again if you're still having trouble it may be something in your computer so you may need to adjust something like i said i will leave links in the description for channels that specifically um go over this type of stuff as their content so they'll know everything that you need to know they'll answer all the questions that you need in any video um so yeah um this stuff takes troubleshooting i didn't just get these settings just out of nowhere it took months of troubleshooting to see what works what i like what i don't like all right so you have to do the same thing right it's not gonna work the first time um but yeah that's it hopefully this was helpful make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace